I mean, it's such a tragic, horrible thing that happened. I, I couldn't believe it when I heard about it. I'm really devastated, just like everyone who worked with him. I met him the first time in Montpellier 2011. We were watching 678. It was a standing ovation and he was among the audience. We talked, then uh, we re reconnected for this project. And I, I always thought he has everything that Hollywood needs. He's a Hollywood star. He's a legend in France and he can be a legend in, in, in the US. And I thought this could be the first step. Yeah, we worked about three, three days together, three nights. We were doing the night shoots and he just was a really kind, uh, soulful person and, and was, you know, ready to do anything uh, as far as like, we tried a bunch of different things. Well, first of all, a really hard worker. What he was doing was very impressive. I feel like I can't share like a lot about what, what he did yet, but he was like just soft-spoken and there and attentive and gave a hundred percent and really funny at the same time. So it was a big shock. It was really sad to hear what happened. At least it's a great goodbye, but I just like, he was so down to earth, uh, lovely to work with. It felt like, to me, uh, he came to the set like it felt like someone acting for the first time. I mean, the, very humble. I honestly told him a couple of times, I think your character is coming back. So it's, it's such a sad thing. And he was just so great. We talked about his, his son, his young son and his family. And, and uh, yeah, I just, my heart goes out to them. It's just heartbreaking for him and for his family. And you know, what's really particularly heartbreaking about it is how excited he was about his future mm -hmm. um, and how dedicated he was to what he was going to do. So that was a blow. The only good thing is I feel he's going to be immortal in his art. He's always going to live as this beautiful, young, talented guy uh, among us. Um, that's my condolences to him.